What's your take on the DJI Goggles 3 plus O3 signal loss bug? Why isn't the community putting more pressure on DJI to fix this? Uh, is, is the community in the room with you now? Where is the community? I hate that term. This will now segue into a rant about, Blunt, do you want to get in on this? About how I hate the term. We're going to rant about how we hate something. I feel like that's right up your alley. <laughs> the community. What yeah, is the I, I keep this because I knew you would rant about it. You did? Oh, I'm so predictable. Uh, 100%. <laughs> um, why isn't the community? What does that even mean? What, what would it mean for the community to pressure DJI? Do you mean Madstech would be writing letters to them? Madstech did write an open letter to them. Is Madstech the community? No. The, why aren't you writing a letter to them? Did you? You and a whole bunch of other people did. What, what, what is not happening that you would like to see happening that would make you feel like the community was pressuring them more? Serious question. Serious question. I mean this. What, because, like, I obviously, when I hear the words the community, I start a rant about how meaningless that phrase is. But I'm curious what you think, what you mean by that. So, he, he I says Drew. meaning. He says, meaning people who bought O3 and are suffering this issue, I did write an email to them. But yeah, man, how do you know the other people didn't too? So did so did all the other people. Let's not be mad at let's let's take it easy on ID Drew. Okay. I don't want to like yell at him. Uh, he's not actually the source of our ire, or the target of our ire. Yeah, but, but uh, as Blunty said, uh, I'm sure a whole bunch of people contacted them, right? So like, you wrote an email. So did a bunch of other people. The, the, I, I think the community is pressuring them. Like I just say, he says, as a leader in software engineering, it baffles me that something so serious is not fixed yet. And I'm going to guess that means you're new to the hobby or have not used DJI before. Yep. So the problem is we're like uh, the ugly stepchild who nobody ever looks at because we're not a lot of money to DJI. We're like a division of DJI. Uh, I'm just explaining this for I'm trying to explain this for real because I'm assuming you don't understand. Right. Yeah, exactly. Like That's why I don't want to be DJI. I don't want to be mad yeah. at him or angry at him. Yeah. I, we're, we're, we're salty about this topic. But yeah. he's just poked a, he's poked a, a wound. Go ahead. Yeah, DJI is a multi-billion-dollar company, and the FPV organi- side of the thing could close today, and nobody would care. That, that's how small DJI FPV is. We're slowly getting larger. They're slowly adding a little bit to each thing, but there's not a lot of development there compared to everything else. And that means that we have bugs and odd things that just stick there for years and sometimes never get fixed, or randomly get fixed two years later into the release cycle when they decide to throw the patch in. Uh, there's a chance that, you know, this will get fixed in three months. This will get fixed in a week. This will get fixed never, right? That's sort of how DJI rolls. It's like whoever, whatever ticket this gets on whoever's feathers get ruffled the right way well if it's a tuesday and it's cloudy right we don't really know why but this happens a lot of the time one of the things just think about right is like the dji goggles v2 you still cannot keep vistas and o3s bound at the same time yet when you switch you have to rebind the vista when you switch you have to rebind that has existed for five years but that was fixed Four on years. the goggles two and the Integra, yep. right? So like, and I know you're saying this is way more critical. You're blacking out in flight, but I'm just saying like DJI looks at these things as like they're critical as they can be for a division of the company that's small in a billion dollar company that doesn't really care about us. Yeah, and and it's weird because um, I will say that public pressure I don't think uh, has a lot to do with their decision making process. So when people say why aren't people applying more pressure? I'm like, well, I don't, I don't like, it doesn't matter because they're going to do what they're going to do. And like, it's not that they're not aware of the public pressure. And it's, I think it's not that they don't care. It's just that they are a enormous uh, bureaucracy, a giant corporate machine. And so somewhere there's a community manager who is like, oh my God, people are losing their freaking minds about this. And that person goes into a meeting with 17 other people who are decision makers and and influencers. And they say, hey, people are losing their mind about this bug. It's a big deal. And then somebody else is like some other reason why they shouldn't fix it because they have other priorities. And eventually a decision is made. And, And like from our perspective, it's obvious that this is an absolute showstopper of an issue that absolutely needs to be fixed. And then from their perspective, there's 17 other priorities that we're not aware of that that means that we don't always things don't always work out the way that it obviously seems like they should um 
So if people aren't pressuring DJI, it's because they've been around. It's like the two guys up on the gallows and one says first time. <laughs> you know, <laughs> is your first time dealing with a showstopper DJI bug and you don't realize that making a big stink about it in public letter writing campaign isn't the thing that's going to make DJI decide or not to decide to fix it? Like that there's some pressure from guys like Madstech is very nice, that there's pressure from users is nice, but like they're going to fix it when they fix it. Uh, but it's not, it's, it's like I'm not at all surprised that this happened. And it is absolutely not in any way unprecedented that a new DJI product has some kind of a showstopper bug with the FPV functionality. And we just have to sit there and suck it up until they finally decide to get off their ass and fix it. Or maybe they don't. For a bug like this, it seems like they'll fix it. But, but f I mean, the o I don't know. The O4 is going to come out. Do they really care about O3 backwards compatibility? I think they do. Or they wouldn't have released it in the first place. So I think they'll fix it. But I don't know. The other thing people are saying is, like, why aren't they fixing it faster? It's just like somebody said, oh, six to eight hours of development time. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. What you have is a, a showstopper bug that's causing total link loss without recovery. Even if it was one line of code to fix it, the actual validation of the fix, testing that the fix was, was reliable, testing on all different hardware, rolling it out, that whole process would be potentially weeks or, or maybe even more. Uh, so DJI isn't going to just hit a button and release a patch that hasn't been thoroughly tested, probably. So, um, yeah. Welcome to the welcome to the welcome to the issue. I do think they're working on it, and I do think they're going to fix it. That's the other thing. If they're working on it and they're going to fix it, writing them more letters won't make them do it faster. <laughs>